All right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an email that was sent from a subscriber. That's from a guy. He is 41 years old, and he shares his story how recently he got into this big scuffle at work because this gal he'd been working with in a, in a uh, on his crew temporarily, pretty young gal, has been uh, bugging him for months, trying to put the moves on him and all that. And finally he had it out with her, pretty much telling her to F off. And to no surprise, she tried to make a she makes a big scene and tries to make out like he's the bad guy and uh, he's the problem. In other words, he has a genuine complaint about being bothered in the workplace when usually it's the other way around. And all of a sudden, twist around and make that he's the bad guy. However, you're going to see that, thank the Lord, there are witnesses there to help him out. And he has the last laugh here. And that'll be a very good one to go over here, guys, to show you that, guess what? This type of stuff happens to guys as well. And guys have every right to stand up for themselves, not take this crap. But you also have to be quick on your feet and be the one to control the narrative. Because you're going to see, she tries to obviously get him in trouble, but fortunately he handles it right. Also in this story, guys, you're also going to see another interesting thing. He ends this story also talking about his mother, where his mother heard this whole story and situation. And his mother, interestingly, was taking the side of the girl. Can you believe that? His mama, who gave birth to him, taught him to morals and things like that growing up, because that's, he said, how he was raised, strict Catholic household, is blaming him. That It's not, his, not her fault, his. And he's starting to really realize and connect a lot of dots based on that experience and what he's learned here that his mom probably very, was very likely a carousel rider and has a make rules for thee but not for me attitude and is really wondering whether to have her in his life anymore. That bad. And you guys who've been watching me a while probably heard stories where a husband is cheated on or a, or a fiance is cheated on and the mother blames him. And takes the side of the girlfriend or the wife, that type of thing. And then he finds out that she herself was cheating on her dad for years and stuff like this. There's a lot of things going on here that'll be important to cover and be aware of. But also a story where you can be happy that the guy ended up uh, handling things right in the situation in the workplace. So definitely a good one I thought I'd cover here tonight. He says, uh, Dear SSM, my name is Matt. I'm a 41-year-old man who's been married for 17 years. I've been watching your channels with great interest for both entertainment and the education value. In fact, I have my two oldest sons, age 15 and 14, watching your videos as well. Awesome, man. You're a good dad. Your boys will benefit greatly from hearing these stories. And I'm sure they laugh when I curse and say the F word and all that. Uh, the world can be very cruel if one isn't prepared for what is out there. So I feel that it's important to get my son smart on things to avoid being financially and emotionally ruined. Good. You're a good dad. You are t preparing your sons for the real world, not some fantasy land BS, okay? That's what a parent truly does, prepares their kids for a tough world and is real with them. And your sons will respect the hell out of you for doing that, even if it isn't what they want to hear. Too many parents out there simply do not prepare their children for real life and are shocked when, as adults, the, the kids can't fend for themselves and they're relying on mom and dad till they're 95 years old. You know, seriously, so good for you. Listen to your pop, young boys. Anyway, I'm writing to you, writing to you due to a recent incident I had at work that also led to some revelations about my mom that the material on your channel has, let, has me thinking long and hard about. I work at a large logistics company loading and unloading airplanes. This occurred two weeks ago, although this was something that was brewing for the last three months. You see, I was S-word harassed at work by a female co-worker. The co-worker, Angelina, is a 28-year-old married Latina gal. So, you know, you always hear the stories about the gals, whether it's accurate or not being tormented, if you will, on the workplace. Well, guess what? It happens to guys too. The trouble started three months ago when she began trying to talk to me. I rejected every advance. And yet she continued to find ways to be close to me and try to jump into the conversation between myself and others. She reminds me of my two German shepherds when they try to follow me into the bathroom and try to take a dump. <laughs> so dogs do that too? My freaking cats, especially the girl cat, always has to... I close the door to 
take care of business. I'm not in there. Th I'm barely sitting down. And all of a sudden, row, row. it's like, fine. I open the door. She comes in. It's like, can I close the fucking door, please? I close the door. Then she row, row, wants to go out. I open the door. She goes out. I close the door. And round and round we go. So I know what you're talking about. Meanwhile, my boy cat could care less. Uh, anyway, on a scale of one to ten, she is a Southern California number, uh, Southern California seven. I live in LA. Uh, most guys will be flattered and indulge in her advances. Not me. Why? Because something felt very off, and I was particularly disgusted by the fact that she's doing this with the full knowledge that I'm married and that she's married herself. Well, she isn't careful. Your wife's going to come af come after and whoop her ass. Uh, normally, I could just ignore her and drive away in my tug. We use these to transport containers filled with packages to load on the planes or receive them from when unloading. Our peak season for the Christmas New Year's holiday period runs between late November to late December. So what this means is crews either get split up and sent to other crews or receive a bunch of other people from other crews to handle the increased volume of packages coming through. It was around this time that Angelina was reassigned to my crew. Oh, how wonderful. To say that I was irked by this was an understatement. During the first months of her advances, I discussed this problem with one of my other females on my crew, an older gal by the name of Sheila. Well, during the first week of Angelina working on her crew, Sheila told me that she heard of old girl, she heard old girl likes effing married men behind her husband's back. During this time, I went out of my way to avoid being alone with her. Sheila being my wingman to ensure I was never left alone with her. Very smart, bro. Unfortunately, one day Sheila didn't show up for work due to her granddaughter needing to go to the ER. So, there are a lot of gals out there that are married. And obviously, could care less about cheating on their husbands. You all know this quite well. But they also seek out other guys that are married too. And that way they think, okay, I can... F around with this guy and he's going to keep his mouth shut or something because he's got a lot to lose, you know? Or they just simply enjoy creating drama in his life and, and having married guys chase after him makes him feel more, a greater sense of attention and validation. So I was stuck. People normally refer to me by my last name to include her. Even my wife calls me by my last name. We both served in the Army before rejoining civilian life. Thank you for your service, sir. Uh, but on the fateful day two weeks ago, Angela started calling me Matthew. And at one point, tried to do this thing where she's touching my hand all seductive-like after helping me and another crew member, a female named Karen, uh, hook up, hooked up a string of three containers to my tug. I immediately yanked my hand away and told her never touch me again. She responded with, What's wrong, sugar? I told her, Cut that shit out. To which she lowers her sunglasses and says, Whatever you say, hon then does this thing with her tongue. Yeah, she's classy. 27 years old, married. She's in her, she's in her prime. He said she's a seven in the looks department. You know, so she gets attention and she knows it. And she probably also knows, guess what? There's no consequences for her actions. Uh, now, Karen, this is his co-worker, is your typical, 20, typical white 23-year-old hardcore effinist with one of those ugly septum piercings in her nose like an effing cow. <laughs> However, she was actually quite taken aback and surprised by Angelina's behavior to the point of being visibly appalled. So, you got a young effinist here who is actually appalled by this behavior seeing that you, sir, are being harassed in the workplace. The effinists are certainly on board about defending those, the gals, harassed in the workplace, whether it's sometimes, sadly, whether it's accurate or not. She's seen this happen to you. Well, let's see if it's a double standard or not. After I unloaded my containers and dumped the dollies they, they were on, I went back to the gate where our plane was and confronted Angelina. Now listen to this part. I told her in a low voice, I'm not your fucking sugar. I'm not your fucking hun. Don't ever call me that shit again and don't ever touch me. I'm not interested. Stay the fuck away from me. Well, that went about as well as a fart in church because she responded with epic meltdown in front of about 30 other people yelling out the standard. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't disrespect me. I was like, oh, like you were towards me over the last three months and today trying to touch me and shit. Get the fuck out of here. So, guys, in public, 
if a gal starts screaming and yelling like this, who do you think people automatically are going to side with? We all know. So it's very important a guy in this situation, as fast as the freaking roadrunner can run, runs to the supervisors to share his side of the story. Because if he does not, she is going to control the narrative, not to mention other guys on the workforce that probably want to nail her, or are already nailing her, that will take her side. Again, this story proves that this, as I'm going into this, guys, and guess what? This happens to guys, you know, but at the end of the day, anyhow, I, went, I immediately went to my supervisor and explained everything. And much to my surprise, Karen had actually got to him first. Karen's the feminist co-worker. And told what she saw, which matched everything I told him. Karen actually took my side. More surprising is that she later told me that she t that she told her supervisor that she felt that Angelina was S-word harassing me. Who would have thought his effinist co-worker is an ally in the situation? Hey, great. Never in a million years would I have expected someone like her to actually defend me. That said, I question Karen's true motives. She's one of those pansexuals. And I'm definitely not her type. Any guy she hooks up with is one, is of the man bun variety. <laughs> and he probably had, eats avocado toast every day for breakfast. And probably wears Birkenstocks. And probably wears skinny jeans. And probably carries a man purse. And probably frequents Starbucks. I can go on, on with the stereotypes here because I'm on a roll this morning. Personally, I think she did it because she was jealous of me for being the focus of Angeline's attention. Just a hunch. You know what? She's an ally in this situation, so use it for what it's worth. However, while I was talking with my supervisor, Angelina went over his head and went straight to the lead full-timer that oversees all the supervisors on the air ramp. Uh-oh. I get pulled over pulled over to the side by the by the full-timer, full-time supervisor, who I'll refer to as Pencil D-I-C-K. I'm just calling pencil sausage. I gotta watch what I say. I've already f bombed enough in this video, so I gotta watch my language at this point. He immediately tried to make it sound like I was the bad guy. Shocker. That is until I turned things around on him and laid all the cards on the table. I told him, "Look, you and I know how this place can be, and especially in this day and age. One effed up allegation made by a chick against a guy usually means the guy gets ruined." You all people should know, considering all the things circulating the air ramp, about you and your extracurricular activities. Oh, so this guy has a history. I then proceed to tell him the specifics about his trist with other women on the air ramp. I won't get into details here on the off chance that Pencil Sausage is watching, uh, but suffice to say that all the color drained from his face by the time I was done. Good for you, man, for not backing down. So in other words, this guy's reputation for uh, bothering the gals in the workplace. And it sounds like his bothering is, is actually genuine. I followed up by telling him, I actually think you're a good guy who was too nice to, to these trash women that tried to take advantage of you. It seemed to have res resonated because he was just silently nodding his head. And, and, and now the guy says, oh, don't get me wrong. Pencil sausage is basically Harvey Weinstein's understudy. I just had to let him think I was on his side. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, bro. Truth is, he's just as disgusting as Angelina. The next morning, my supervisor told me that Pencil Sausage informed him that Angelina will no longer be on our crew and that no action will be taken against me. Well, thank the Lord for that. But why is Angelina actually fired? That's great. She's no longer on your crew and no action will be taken against you now. But why isn't she fired? I guarantee you situation was reversed and and you were bothering her and she had a genuine complaint you wouldn't just be moved off your crew you'd be moved into the uh the unemployment office but i'm glad you got that at least i held off on writing this up and sending you to in, to you personally because i had a feeling there would be more fallout i was right shocker Last week, a, a co-worker who, who, I was, who I was on good terms with, I'll call him Tyrone, came up to me in an extremely belligerent manner. He was telling me to back off from harassing Angelina. Guess, guess Tyrone is also hooking up with Angelina. 
It didn't take long for me to confirm that there was something going on between those two. Sheila, again, his, I guess, a woman on his crew who's older than him, had me walk with her after our shift and was over to an area where we had a good line of sight of Angelina's car. Sure enough, here she comes walking to her car and holding hands with Tyrone. They were talking, and although we were too far to hear their, their conversation, she starts kissing him while he grabbed a handful of ass. There you go. She's cheating with all the guys. I felt bad for her husband and her kid, especially the kid. Tyrone was a Tyrone in the truest sense of the definition and even put up a protector act for her. Something to, uh, tells me she should. Uh, she, she told him a reimagined version of what happened between us. I guarantee you she told him a reimagined version. And she was probably hoping to have two guys fight over her in some capacity. Guarantee. This is an example, gentlemen, of gals. I, I say all the gals like drama. And it's the fucking truth. I don't care what anybody says. However, there are gals out there that are cool. And they're rare, but they are cool. And they get their fix of drama by watching the silly ass reality TV shows or hearing their girlfriends gossip about this dude. Other ones need to be right in the thick of it and cause drama and get guys to fight over and all that and right here. And of course cheat on their husbands and all that. Uh, something tells me she told him a reimagined version of what happened between us. Doesn't matter though since she, he knows she's married so they're both pieces of effing crap in the same toilet bowl. As for my wife Maria... Oh boy. I made her aware of everything since it started. Very smart, dude. Let her know everything. So she wasn't surprised one bit about how Angelina escalated things. As you point out in several videos, women cannot take rejection and will either become obsessed with you or go complete scorched earth. Yes, exactly. Here, Angelina went from being obsessed to becoming belligerent. Maria, his wife, a 40-year-old Mexican slash Afro Cuban woman has made it crystal clear that she wants me to point at her out so she can go knock out knock her teeth down her throat. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I managed to talk her off the ledge out of a wish to avoid getting fired and or face legal issues, but part of me loves the, th the thought of a cat fight breaking out in the parking lot where I work. Well, if anybody deserves a butt kicking from your wife, it is Angelina. If that happens, let me know. Send me an email. I don't have to share it. Well, no. Let me back up. The guys are going to want to know. So if that happens, please share. Read a full story. I'll do the video. Uh, that brings me to my mother. So now we're moving on to the story with his mother and the situation. And now this will surprise you. Uh, she's your typical hardcore Mexican Catholic woman who ruled the house with the intensity of Hitler. My dad was usually at work making sure we had a roof over our heads, so my mother was the one who really instilled our set of morals with a heavy Catholic slant. So imagine my surprise when she not only assumed I was the one doing the harassing, and that she then started to op openly question whether I had somehow invited Angelina's advances. I was a little more than shocked to have my mother just automatically assume the worst of me. That's despicable. Your own mama. I've done lots of stories on these guys where the mom is taking the gal's side, whether it's a girlfriend or a wife cheating on their husband or boyfriend, and the the son is like, you're choosing the cheating girlfriend or wife over me? Your baby boy, your son? And as it turns out, that mom was a was or is a carousel writer herself and a big line cheater and all that. She was clearly trying to gaslight me. To be honest, it hurt. It had me drinking back, back to a past video you did about the guy who kicked his girlfriend to the curb for wanting to go on a girl's only weekend. The one where the mom told the guy's girlfriend he was going to propose to her, and it was later revealed that she was maintaining a relationship with her years after the fact, and was a carousel, carousel rider to boot. Oh, I remember that story. Multi-part video. That was, a, that was one of my best videos I've ever done. Was my mother a carousel rider like that guy's mother? More importantly, it, it, is she still like this? I'm not certain, but here's what I know, thinking back to past events. Her sister, my Aunt Tasha, got divorced from my Uncle Carl because she was cheating on him with a guy named Gus, sure for Gustavo. That happened seven years ago, and it was her daughters, my cousins, Jesse and Kim, who caught Gus trying to sneak out of the house through the backyard. My cousins aren't the type to lie about something like this, and my Uncle Carl was more mad about his daughters being the ones to find out. Otherwise, he was quite numb emotionally. Okay. 
So your auntie was doing this bullshit. My mother defended my aunt to the point where she started to accuse my cousins of being liars. Your mom's an asshole, bro. I hate to break it to you. When I confronted my mother about this by using facts and logic, the only thing she could say in response was, she's my sister and your aunt. We have to support her. Isn't that interesting when people like this, when you have facts and logic and all they can do is just, when you, they can't make an argument so they got to insult you or come up with some BS emotional response like that to justify bad behavior. She even tried to justify my aunt's cheating. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I can believe it. This was the woman who taught me what was right and wrong, justifying infidelity and trying to assassinate the character of my cousins and uncle. Uh, it's called Rules for Thee, Not for Me. Uh, you've also pointed out in several past videos how daughters tend to be protective of their fathers if they were the ones who were wrong. And that is especially the case in regards to my Uncle Carl. It has been seven years and my cousin still refuses to say a word to my aunt. Yeah. Many times... The girls will protect their daddy like you wouldn't believe. Ferocious. Like like a lionesses protecting their young. They have maintained no contact all this time and extended to my mother, and I don't blame them one bit. I think your female cousins are cool. Shout out to your cousins. So here's my dilemma. What the fuck is up with my mother? It feels like the more I peel back the onion, the more unflattering things I discover. I watched several of your videos that have the sneaky mom, and she fits the description to a T. My mother's comments about needing to support my aunt leads me to suspect that she knew about the Gus, and my gut is telling me that she might have been involved in covering it up until my cousins uncovered the affair. Well, women can't keep secrets. Let's be honest here. They can't keep secrets. Come on. My 4% of the ladies out there are like, fuck, I love SSM, but God damn it, he's right, even though I want to slap him. Women can't keep secrets. And there's nothing more fun, I think, for a gal to have an affair and get plowed by Chatter Tyrone than to, get the, than to gossip about getting plowed by Chatter Tyrone. So I'm sure your mama knew about this whole thing going on. I'm also debating whether to just cut her out of my life completely. I've already cut out two uncles and another sibling for other things. Long story, though. So it's not like I'm an emotional mess about it. The thing is, I don't have any hard proof. And whatever I do, do find I should dig further. It will probably kill my dad. He's extremely poor health. He sacrificed a lot and worked his ass off to make sure my siblings and I had a stable childhood. So my mother knows that she's no longer in my circle of trust. And I've already been slowly disassociating myself from her for about as long as my cousins went no contact. Bottom line, she's the worst kind of hypocrite. Am I off base for my feelings and suspicions? 100% no, ma'am. I don't blame you at all. And the fact that she was... You've been married to your wife 17 years. I think she ought to know your character at this point. That you're a good man, you're a good father, all that. And with everything, you were trying to keep this broad off you. And then this whole thing went down, and she's immediately taken the side of this woman. It's not like this get this Angelina hobag was was a. Uh, if you were dating, if, if if this was if you if you're. If, if, if your wife was doing something awful to you and she was taking her side, but this was just some random chick that you were working with, a temporary crew, and she's obviously taking her side because she doesn't want to believe that the girl's the bad guy in the situation, I would be talking to her. Life's too short. And I definitely believe that, that based on the, her attitude towards your, aunt, your dear old auntie, I'm sure she knew what was going on, was covering it up. And I'm willing to bet you she probably would blame it on your uncle. He wasn't, you know good enough to, for her or wasn't there for her or paying enough attention to some way to bullshit ex to justify the action here and you're, you said your dad is ill it would, probably would really kill your dad to find out these things but at the end of the day it's up to you but I've, I'm have i going to be 46 in like Jesus a week okay I'm an, I'm an early January Capricorn I don't believe in that stuff but it's interesting I have a lot of Similarities to what the Zodiac says about Capricorn. It's pretty interesting. And at almost 46 years old, I've reached a point that I have no time for bullshit in my life. None. And I've made enemies by my not tolerating bullshit, but I don't give a shit. And any guy out there as middle-aged knows you reach that point, you just don't give a shit. If people don't like me, go fuck yourself. So if your mom is pulling that type of crap, hey, you don't need her. You got your, your loyal wife. You got your boys. You got people that care about you. Better to have a small number of people that are totally on your side versus putting with assholes in your life. 
if you want to dig and find out things about your mama, that's your business. But uh, I wouldn't be having anything to do with her at this point. And I guarantee you, although I can't blame you, she'll twist it around and make you out to be the bad guy, which will only prove why you're doing avoiding her. But it's up to you. So I would think about this. You know, but you already said you backed away from her. But the fact that, she, and I'm, I'm sure that your wife and her, what your wife doesn't like her very much at all, has probably just bit her lip all these years because she's your mother and all that. You know, the old wife and it and mother-in-law type of relationship that I can only imagine what that's been like. And you know, you have your boys and she's their grandmother. But I'm sure if you're preparing your sons for reality and the real world, they're gonna learn. Guess what? Even their female elders can do a lot of awful shit that the young gals do nowadays. So I leave it up to you. But anyhow, back to the Angelique situation. Just be careful there. It may not be over, but I'm glad you got some support in the workplace. That's really good to hear. That's, that's rare. You know, usually in a situation like this, you'd be toast and at the unemployment office. And I'm glad your wife is on your side. And I think it's pretty funny. She wants to whoop her ass. And if that happens, please tell me about it. So I wish you the best. But keep me updated on this situation, man. But just think on this a little bit. Sit back. Don't make any rash decisions. But when you do with it, stick with it. And at the end of the day, rather not, I'd rather have no mama around than someone that was constantly treating me like crap and talking down and blaming me for something I didn't do and not taking my side. She ought to know your character by now. All right, guys. That's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.